we've got a questionable economy. So we got second quarter GDP revision today coming in slightly better than expected at 1.4 percent. But while nervous consumers might be holding back from buying things like Lamborghinis, Teslas or Tiffany, Sean O'Hara of Pacer ETF says invest in what people will refuse to give up. That's their smartphones. But a strategy does not involve buying Apple or Samsung. Sean joins me now. What does it involve buying? It involves buying the network providers. I can lose my phone and still get cell phone service by getting a new one. But if that went down, we'd all be in a panic. So in our global high dividend strategy, we own two names, AT&T and Verizon, both leaders in their category, both moving forward. It doesn't matter if they come out with a new product or not. They're going to continue to exist. They're moving towards data and programming. But here's what's really great about these two stocks is Verizon and AT&T both pay north of 4% dividends. So in our global high dividend strategy, we love that and combine those two companies over $30 billion worth of free cash flow. Okay, so this goes back to the, hey, you get paid while you wait. You've got the dividends coming in from these two names. So there's the opportunity there, but, but why not do something like the Apple or the actual handsets? We, I, I don't have anything against the handsets, but I think they're too cyclical or too dependent perhaps on the next product cycle, right? You're right. So or if, let's say somebody who doesn't exist in the cell phone market makes a better product than Samsung or, or, or Apple, what are they going to hook it up to? What are you going to go to? You're going to go to AT&T and Verizon and you're going to get your service there. Can and I you can't you, live without that. I need to get you on the markets. We're, we're heading back down to session lows. We were just down about 190 points. A lot of this swirling around Deutsche Bank and the concerns about the solvency, that may be premature. Let's be fair about this. However, you've got some big customers at Deutsche Bank pulling their business. You know, Bloomberg came out with the report, and that really forced the markets to the lows of the session. What's going on here? I think there's a little bit of panic going on right now. And I think, you know, we don't, nobody really knows what's going on. You're getting all the same clues that you would have got. I don't want to say because I want anybody to make the connection, but like a la Lehman, yeah. we're fine. There's no But when the prime trading relationships start to go and those people who can pull their cash start to go, then perhaps you, you have a little bit of a run on the bank. Um, from our perspective, our global high dividend, we don't own any banks. So None at all. None at all. They don't produce enough free cash flow yield for us to own them. So. Um, you know, you don't want to gloat, but the performance on our fund is not going to be affected by this. Right. But, you know, we're eight years into a bull market. We could be headed down. You never know. Okay, so he says pick up the phone. Don't hold the phone. You say AT&T and Verizon.